My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Here's something we don't find every day. This is a real documented 1970 Chevelle SS396. It was also born with that cowl induction, the factory gauges, air conditioning. We have the original build sheet that proves everything I just said. So it's a genuine car, not a phony, not a Malibu made to an SS. It's a real documented 396 Chevelle. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures. We also have a picture of the build sheet on our website. Uh, and that's where you can read the information and get a price on every car I have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, I hope you do. Subscribe and click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. The car was sold new in Tennessee, and I bought it in Tennessee. So it's pretty safe to say that's where it's lived its life. Also, judging by the floors, they're nice clean metal, the rockers, uh, all real nice clean metal under the car. Uh, this has the F41 suspension, so it has the sway bars front and back and the boxed rear control arms. Uh, shocks are new in the front, air shocks are new in the back. It has a Flowmaster dual exhaust, but it also has the resonators uh, that 70 Chevelles came with in the back. Uh, you'll hear it run towards the end of the video. Disc brakes in front, drum and back, the e-brake cables are hooked up. Uh, you look up at the motor, real nice clean motor from underneath. The starter looks brand new. It has its numbers matching Turbo 400 automatic. Uh, it has the tag riveted to the side, 1970, and then it actually has the VIN number of the car stamped on the transmission as well has its original 12 bolt rear end. Uh, the code is CW. That is specific to a 396 or maybe a 454, but it's specific to an SS Big Block Chevelle dated to this car. So that's the original rear end as well. The same code that's on the build sheet. Um, the body, let's check it out. Looking across the roof, it's straight, no issues. The pillar looks good. The hood sits up a touch here. Not anymore. Uh, it lines up nice. This is a problem area right here. You got a lot going on, and that side fits really nice. This side fits really nice. The gap's a little bit bigger than that side, but it's not touching anywhere. That line is straight. The body is straight. It's all nice metal. All smooth at the bottom. The roof, all real nice. <clears throat> no issues here. No bubbles, no blisters, all nice clean body. Trunk lines up nice and square and flush. No rust, no bubbles, no damage. <coughs> Excuse me. This side looks just as good. It's straight. Lines up nice. I don't see any bubbles or damage. The paint is chipped up right on this edge. I don't know if something fell on it. They brush touched right on this edge right here. And overall, the paint job's really nice. It's glossy. It's smooth. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a little imperfection here or there. I'm not really finding any. Now, a lot of the hoods, the SS, have the raised hood. They're not all cow induction. People put cowl induction emblems on all of them, even though they're not. This is actual cowl induction. That air is force fed in. It actually whips around the windshield stronger than the, uh, the big scoops you see on other cars. That, the air goes right over them. This is more effective than the scoops. So it has a very desirable cowl induction. And when you got that, you got the racing hood pins too. Uh, but getting back to the paint, it's slick. The stripes, you can barely feel them. They're gloss black. They're sharp looking. Uh, it is a color change. It was gold, and now it's the adobe beige or butternut yellow uh, color. <clears throat> I'm going to start looking at the trim. All this stainless is real nice. Windshield's been replaced. All this stainless here, it's all shiny and straight. 
door handles look new. These rubber window seals are new. The moldings look new and the emblems up on the fenders look new. Uh, the rear window, well, I was going to say new, but no, there's some light scratches in the rear glass, but it's pretty clear compared to most. The trim is new around it. The back bumper, straight and shiny, it has the SS rubber pad, uh, tail lights, the cowbell tips, all that looks really nice. That rubber pad, by the way, it's a thick rubber. I've had to glue them on before, and the bumper's curved and the rubber's straight. You gotta use clamps and you gotta let it sit uh, for a while to get it to stick. Um, yeah, same thing on this side, shiny chrome. This is a remote mirror that looks like it's new. The wheels, they're restored nicely. Got some big tires on here, BF Goodrich tires, big fat tires. They are 15 inch SS wheels. They look a little bit wider in the back. The tire is even beefier in the back. Oh, up front, the bumper looks nice. The bezels, the grill, bumper guards, everything up here looks real sharp. Let's open it up and see what it's got inside. All right, let's see what it looks like in the trunk. Under the trunk lid is all painted glossy. You got the stickers. Jam is painted nice. Weather strip is replaced. Trunk compartments, all clean metal. I did a quick inspection of the quarter panels, didn't find any cuts or splices. So if they replaced them, uh, they did a good job. Uh, and the mat looks nice. Now we got a rally wheel for a spare, good tire. Uh, I see the bottom of the jack, but I don't see, yeah, the, the rest of the jack's there. So it has a spare and a jack. It's all there. Not that you'd ever use a bumper jack in one of these cars anymore, but it's there. Door jams were all painted when they painted the car. They look nice. Weather strips look real good. Door panels, sure, been replaced. Armrest is replaced. Now, this does have the factory gauge uh, dash. Uh, they didn't all come with tachometers and gauges. This one has it. It's on the build sheet. Uh, it also has a deluxe wheel on a tilt column has an AM FM factory radio, which works. I tried it. Uh, missing a cigarette lighter, just tell the salesman. Jay said to get a lighter. And then uh, I think this is a spring that breaks on these, which take care of that too. Uh, has a gauge cluster under the dash. Some people feel the you know, newer gauges are more accurate. Owner's manual in here. It looks like a cam card. It sounds like it's got a bit of a cam in the engine. Uh, carpet's real nice. Upholstery's been redone. Center console is real nice as the staple shifter. Uh, someone's put a fire extinguisher on there. It all looks, looks very respectable. Back seats reupholstered. The side panels are replaced. A couple six by nine speakers in back. Headliners, really nice and tight. Dome light works. Visors are real nice. Mirror looks like it's replaced. This is one of those cars, it's, it's very good. It's not over the top, but it's a very good car. And boy, I'm fussy. I've you know, been around the cars. I have people tell me, are you, what are you kidding me? This car is amazing. But you now an amazing Chevelle, something that rolls in and out of a trailer. This is a really sharp car. You go to your cruise nights and uh, drive it and enjoy it. So we got a lot going on. It's a correct motor. It's the same casting code as the motor should be in here. So it's a correct replacement motor, but not VIN number matched motor does have a set of headers, does have an aluminum intake with a dual feed Holley carburetor, uh, and it's got an HEI ignition hiding in the back. Now the cowl induction system uh, actually has a vacuum pod and it has an electric door inside here. So there's a few things going on to make the cowl induction uh, work. 
Uh, this is all part of the air conditioning. The heater control valve is new. Coming around, this is all nice clean metal. You got the horns, you got the shroud. The air conditioning compressor. We got power steering, power brakes. And yeah, it does have a cam because this is a vacuum reservoir. When you got a radical cam, the motor doesn't build vacuum, so you need an extra booster or reservoir for the power brakes. Squirters are hooked up. Under the hood has the hood insulation. Uh, we got the correct air cleaner, valve covers. So again, not an over-the-top concourse engine compartment, but it's very respectable, clean, and has a lot going on here. So there you have it. <coughs> For those of you that don't know, you can't tell a 70 Chevelle Supersport. It's not in the VIN, it's not in the numbers. That's why there's so many fakes out there. This one has the build sheet. <coughs> Sorry. This one has the build sheet that documents the car. So this is the real deal. If that's important to you, uh, here's a special car. And the fact it came with cowl induction, gauges, air, that's just big bonuses. An overall very nice, clean Tennessee car. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesmen. They'll help answer your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe, and then you got to click that bell icon if you want to be notified as the new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.